Hello. Hi. Great, beautiful, blessed afternoon, evening, night, or morning, wherever you are. It is 5 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time up in here. And uh, way later than I would usually do a video. However, being what happening today, and I just didn't have a chance to do it. And thank you for giving me this. I wanted to come on here and talk about another illness that we share a month with. So if you don't know me, my name is Tamille Stewart. I help women who've been diagnosed with lupus go from confused and discouraged to healed, hopeful, and in control of the medical narrative. Uh, and today, um, May is lupus awareness month, right? So throw your elbows up, throw them up, throw them up. Uh, for all the lupus. So lupus is an autoimmune disease that your immune system is confused and attacks everything, healthy cells in your body. Instead of attacking, you know, disease or, you know, whatever other kind of germy wormies that are in there. Uh, it attacks your skin and your liver and whatever. And SLE is the standard, the one that's like, could be attacking anything. And then from there, there's a bunch of subsections that I've been discussing with people. So, I also found out last night that uh, this month, May is a bunch of other people's month, but it is also celiac disease month, which, if you don't know, celiac disease is basically a severe autoimmune response to wheat, gluten in the wheat. So, um, anybody, who might have a gluten intolerance or like gets kind of an upset stomach or something like that, it might not necessarily be a celiac situation. It is it could just be an allergen. But celiac, hey Jean Jean, what's up bro? Um, celiac disease is can lead to damage of the small intestine type. Um so that's dangerous. It's also very painful as far as I've seen. Uh, so they share a month with us. Happy uh, Celiac Disease Month, people. Awesome to see you, Jean Jean. Thank you for always being here. No matter what time we're on, you're the best. Um, so I'm gonna talk about gastrointestinal manifestations of SLE. Uh, hey, Jermaine, how are you? Glad to see you too. Um, so gastrointestinal manifestations of SLE uh, manifest in about 40 to 60% of patients. They have some kind of GI uh, involvement, okay? So they can affect parts of the GI tract from the mouth to the anus. So everything counts all through. I know every doctor's appointment I go to, they ask me if anything's going on in my mouth, do I have any like, sores or anything like that. It's not just like, STD talk, it's, you know, lupus could have decided your tongue is a foreigner, your cheek is a foreigner. Um, I remember in science class in like seventh grade, before I was vegan, before I even thought of the notion, my science teacher, Mr. Bryant, he was like, you always need to floss if you eat meat because meat has to go into your digestive tract and rot. And I was like, into your digestive tract, and one of the, one of the, like, test questions is like, where does the digestion of carbohydrates start? And that starts in your mouth, breaking down the saliva. The digestion of most everything else starts, well, it starts with saliva and then the mastication, the chewing, and then everything else is kind of in the large intestine, small intestines, gut, like all the things. Uh, sorry, I just went straight science geek on you, I apologize. <laughs> um, so they can be caused, these uh, GI uh, involvement, it can be caused by medication or like non-SLE things that just so happen because most people have had a stomach ache in their lives. But um, uh, the small intestine and colon lupus ma hmm, 
mesenteria vasculitis, LMV, is one of the things that st stood out to me. Because there was a huge list of like GI involvement things that you can get from lupus or lupus medications. I just can't. We connect. Can you see me through here? I hope so. This call is still coming through. I rejected it. So, can't get it. Uh, so anyways, LMV is described as uh, in terminology such as lupus arteritis, not arthritis, but arteritis, lupus enteritis, GI vasculitis, int intra-abdominal vasculitis, and acute GI syndrome. So all of those have been used to, um, thank you. Uh, I do apologize for dropping knowledge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that. Um, yeah, so all of those things have been lumped into what is known as LMV, small intestine and colon lupus mesenteria vasculitis. I love that they call it LMV because what? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so the complications like the most severe complications from that are uh, perforations. So like all of the stuff in your insides are basically like acids and stuff breaking stuff down, right? So like if something, if there's tears in places there's not supposed to be tears, the acids eat away at those things and make big holes and make big, like it's problems. It's a lot of problems. So. Uh, perforations, perforations and fraction and bleeding, uh, which can raise the mortality rate up to 50%. So, um, LMV commonly presents with acute abdominal pain and other associated nausea, vomiting, anorexia, postperinatal, postprandial fullness, diarrhea, uh, hematemis. Hematemesis. This is all in the caption, okay? This is all in the caption. So, like, the way GI stuff really does, can affect you in a way. You can lose a lot of weight. You can gain a lot of weight just from what's going on in your stomach. Uh, so, pay attention to that. I'm very sorry for everyone who has celiac. Because uh, I love gluten. I'm very sorry. Uh, <laughs> Gluten-free uh, baking is a skill. I'm a vegan baker. And there are a few things that I bake very well gluten-free or things that are uh, very... Hey, Kenny. Uh, can you see me now? Uh, there are a few things I bake very well uh, gluten-free and vegan. Uh, not all things really lend themselves to that. There's certain, like, texture that is missing that I love uh, with gluten. But I've been blessed to always be able to uh, have gluten and that kind of stuff. Uh, I have had stomach issues. There have been months of times that I couldn't eat anything and I, everything just came back up. So, um, I understand that. And yeah, stomach issues are probably, you know, one of the most uncomfortable things. Like, they're just like, you don't want to be around anybody outside of your house and like, it's just not great. So, understand that anybody, not just lupus, but any kind of chronic illness, any kind of like, if you have a chronic stomach ache, you should probably see your doctor. Uh, it could be a lot of things. And your immune system, a lot of it lives in your gut. So probiotics are a good thing to have. Uh, like fiber. Americans are chronically underfibered. So all of that. Uh, I hope this was informational and useful for you. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we find out some good things. I, I do want to. <laughs> come on here with some good news and not just tell you like everybody die bro die 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 like it's not great thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for being here and rocking with me how did you do this is may 9th so it's the eighth day because i skipped one day for my uh podcast so the eighth day so over a week y'all been here and i see the same faces y'all are so good to me i really appreciate you so much have a beautiful rest of your evening and, um, you know, leave these three L's up. Represent. You got this. All right. Love you. Bye.